As unemployment has spiked, of course, in Texas because of COVID-19, so has unemployment identity theft cases. Tonight, I-Team reporter Brian New is taking a good look at just how vulnerable we all might be to this crime. The Texas Workforce Commission says so far this year, it has caught 738 cases of identity theft fraud claims. Many of those involve a stolen identity, but some we discovered involve the switching of bank accounts. If being laid off wasn't frustrating enough. That it just came out of nowhere. Yvonne Bogg says what happened next was downright infuriating. It really is, especially when you call in and you can't get in contact with anybody to help you out. Back in April, Yvonne lost her job as a receptionist. She filed for unemployment and a couple weeks later, a check was deposited into her bank account. No problem. But then when her second unemployment check went out, that money never showed up in her account. So I went in to see why I never got it, and my deposit information was changed. But I didn't change it. Yvonne called the Texas Workforce Commission right away. But for weeks, all she got was a busy signal. She became so desperate, she called 911 to report a theft. I did. I called 911 because I couldn't talk to anybody. I knew they was going to answer. <laughs> and I told her, I said, this might sound crazy. After the I team reached out to the Workforce Commission, Yvonne received a call. Turns out someone had hacked into her account, changed her bank account information and PIN number multiple times. Yesterday, Yvonne says the Workforce Commission put a lock on her account and is working to get her the back payment she was owed nearly a month ago. To know that somebody can just take your information and change it is very, very crazy. So with no money coming in for the past month, Yvonne says she actually started driving for Uber, but she did receive some good news yesterday. Her old job has hired her back. Now, if you believe you have been a victim of unemployment fraud, the TWC has set up a hotline just for fraud claims. We have that number on our website at CBSDFW.com. In Dallas, Brian New, CBS 11 News.